good morning guys welcome to the channel i hope you guys are doing good uh today's plan let's just go to see elliot elliot i don't know if you guys remember him from a previous video where i went and i ran the scanner and looked like his fecum was done he got a new fecum he installed it himself and he said he, the truck is running good until it didn't run good so let's just go see what's the issue so i'll take you guys along it's gonna be probably a short video you know here and there but uh, yeah that's the plan for today before we're gonna head out to the island so let's go guys the routine guys you see what I mean let's go see mr. Elliot yeah we are almost there guys that's what it takes right it's about uh, half an hour drive to 45 minutes all depends on traffic but today the traffic is good so we're making good time there we go guys just turn in here got to Mr. Elliot and like I said this is the beast right yes so let's see because you know we changed the fecum out and you said it was kind of running like a tractor like rough it, it ran perfect when I first started it up mm -hmm. that's it cold start the next morning ran beautiful started just just like that cold start Heated it up, brought it up to temperature as we loaded up to go to a job site. Yeah. Got in, touched the brake, and it went down like 500 RPM and just was it sounded like a massive tractor. Yeah. So yeah. then uh, it was weird because then I, we, this is, we can't go anywhere because there, there was zero pedal response. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, zero gear, so I moved it back in the driveway. So I'm just up. wondering if, uh, you know, would be the IPF thing. Or... Possibly. So what we did is we offloaded, couldn't go to the job site. Mm -hmm. Uh, then we then I let it sit for an hour or so so it was kind of cooled down a little bit started it up just to move it in here so I could work on underneath mm -hmm. the deck. started up fine so I took it and ran it hard up to uh, Abernathy back and forth accelerated up and down like hard pedal mm -hmm. 3000 rpm worked perfect so this is great we're in, we're in business came back today so I stopped it last night started it again this morning perfect same thing cold, cold, cold start cold, cold no start problem. ran uh, went into high idle, ran perfect. Mm -hmm. and then I went to put it into gear, touch the brake, do a mission to fuel up, and bam, and bam. It was same thing. but it didn't sound like a miss. It sounded like it was just one tracker. It didn't sound like a miss at all. I don't know if you heard it on there. Yeah, I, I kind of heard that. Yeah. Like you know, just 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 sounded like fuel knock to me. Okay. Yeah. So, the only way I could describe it was sounded like yeah, a tractor. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so, let's uh, let's run the scanner on okay. it, see what the, the scanner is gonna tell us, and then uh, we'll fire it up and monitor some pits to see what should be the issue, right? So here we go. Let me grab my uh, scanner, guys. Yeah, because when it's hot, you know, when you put ignition on, the injectors will not clatter. Yeah. Just so you know that. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, it's like, only when it's cold you can hear them really nice and loud. Yeah. But when the engine is hot, they don't clatter at all. You know, you won't hear yeah, nothing. It, won't, it doesn't even go through the glow plugs. This is a 2007, right? right? Correct. Yeah. So... Yeah. Any word on your son's uh, truck? No. Nothing? Doesn't no. that just piss you off? 
No, I mean, like, <laughs> not much you can do. I mean, no, there I, I know the kid is really, you know, disappointed and all that because now he has a rental yep. to do his work and all that. And it takes time. ICBC told him they have to wait 30 days. Yep. So after that, they do the process. Yeah, they'll just declare and all that. And he's been looking, you know. He's been it's, looking. You know, it's tough to find the six O's that are unmolested. But, uh, he finds something a uh, six O. You know, the guy wants like fourteen or fifteen thousand. Yeah. You know. But has some rust at the cab at the corners. and yep. All of that. It's not looking in a good shape. No. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be over twenty grand whether you buy it at fifteen and put ten into it or buy it at twenty and don't put anything into it, right? Yeah. Just the way the truck market is right now, and to find one that's unmolested, like not to not yeah. deleted and whatnot. Yeah, to, uh, yeah. You know, like that's the biggest problem. Yep. Yeah. With these uh, guys. Well, and and untuned, and you know, it's for thirty. I'll sell them this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So last time we deleted all the codes, right? I believe we did delete yeah. all codes, codes last time, yes. So the codes that came back, the PCM control module has one. Let's see what that is. The instrumental cluster and yeah, all that, that was, I think yeah. that's all, um, you know, that's has to do the... Yeah, there's some lights out and whatnot on that, so it's... Okay, let's read the codes. Nothing really. Okay, let's run the injectors. Let's see if you guys can hear that. Now listen to the sounds. One, two, three, four, five, six is weak, seven, eight. So number six is weak. Yeah. You see everything like yeah, everything, it sounded yeah. like even four pam, is a little bit down. Yeah, yeah. Pam, and then number and six it's, it's a little bit weak. Yeah. So But that's better than we had before, yeah. Correct. Last time we had only three yes. Working. So you know electronically pass, you know, that's a little bit concerning that it has a weak uh, signal there, but that could be also because it's kind of sticky. Yeah. So, you know. So, let's just uh, leave it the way it is. We'll fire it up, we we'll let it run. And then I run some light pits on it to see, like, to monitor the yep. oil pressure, the IPR and all that kind of stuff. And... Um, See if we can make the repeat because it's strange, you know. Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. It's just, it's just weird. Yeah, it should not. Because any of the any of the codes that were on before was an intermittent number five. Yeah. There was never a code that I could. I could have got one of those cheap OBD two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was uh, number five. It was never any other. Any mm -hmm. other. Yeah. Well, that is uh, you know, really I'm, I'm nothing. I'm glad to hear that we're here getting at least a. 
hit on all eight. Yeah, which yeah. Is better than we had before. Yeah, yeah. But it's strange because before you didn't have this issue, did you? No. That uh, not, until, not until I changed the pickup. Mm -hmm. So unless it's sending enough now and it's saying that there's not enough, there's something wrong with an injector, and it's going into a lymph It's mode, not electronically because if would there be an electronical issue, you would hear it. No, it will show up. Okay. Because electronically is passing, so electronically is just the system that it sends the signal and the signal gets okay. there delivered and reports back to the computer that it's good. You know, yep. the mechanical side now also could be, like I said, high pressure oil yeah. for some reason, you know, because that's what injects the, the fuel. Yep. So, but it, it goes I'm not, in the I'm not surprised at 280,000 kilometers, you find the broken point mm -hmm. and it just kind of cascades down through, right? Yeah. Now you, you fix that one yeah. and you yeah. find the next yeah. one. Yeah. It's yeah. just kind of. So, I expect that we're going to have some work over the next while yeah. to do on it. Like I said, you know, usually injectors are lasting like some 300,000 kilometers, some yep. less. It all depends on the history of the track. Well, that's that's just it. Right? I don't know the history. That, right? That's what I'm talking about. Because, you know, if, it, if they use the proper oil and they did the right oil change in time, no problem. But if they didn't because these few injectors are so picky because yep. they are running on hydraulic oil, that's yep. the engine oil, right? So if the oil gets dirty, scum gets in there, gums and up and all that kind of stuff. And it doesn't take much more than a micron or two to plug up something no. and it's toast. Exactly, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm done here at Elliot. That's all it is, it's just an ICP sensor that, you know, it's out of wax, so he's gonna change that out and there we go guys, let's go, we are done. As you guys can see I'm back home and we are cooking. Me and my lovely wife making some elk stew from the last year hunt. So getting ready for the island my friends. So I'm gonna close this one right here, that's all I have for you my friends. Till next time be safe, peace out.